I recently visited a high school that may well be the exemplar for global high schools of the future. Hobsonville Point Secondary School on the outskirts of Auckland, New Zealand, has been designed physically and pedagogically to break virtually every boundary condition of the factory model of education while still meeting all prescribed student performance standards. Here's a short summary of my visit with the students and staff of Hobsonville Point Secondary School. Well, we've been open for almost two years um, and I've got year 9 and 10 students here at the moment, uh, 13 and 14 year olds. Um, and we set out with a really determined vision to have students at the centre of everything that we do at the school and to prepare them for their future. Um, and so we're doing things quite differently. Um, and you see on the steps here behind me, um, these are our 10 Hobsonville habits which shape our dispositional curriculum because we reckon that kids need to have a pathway to both academic excellence and to personal excellence. So this shapes the curriculum really for our So the key words in the design of the building are open, visible, flexible and connected. Um, and a real key uh, word there for me is flexible. Um, the reason why is because this building is going to be around for 50 years and I don't even know what teaching and learning is going to look like in five years and ten years, let alone 50 years. So it's really important that the space that we have is flexible. In a normal silo classroom, there's only one thing you can do, and that's put one teacher with 30 kids. Uh, but that's not going to be the way that all teaching and learning happens. So we need spaces that allow for teachers to work with small groups, groups of teachers to work with large groups. Um, and so we've gone for that sort of flexible design. And then the challenge for us as the teachers is to develop a curriculum and a pedagogy that is both open, visible, flexible and connected. And that's the journey that we're on. So that there's good alignment between the teaching and the learning and the physical space. Our Ministry of Education have developed um, modern learning environment criteria and those criteria shape all new builds plus also any uh, refurbishments and developments on existing school sites. What it might do is look different in different places because of the, the footprint of the land and the existing buildings that already are in schools, but um, the modern learning environment criteria, which we summarise as open learning, uh, visible learning, flexible learning, connected learning spaces, um, will be present in, in all developments. I think what's different is really that we just kind of get to like learn in ways that have like real world connections, so using two different like subjects in a module is really good because you can actually see why you're learning algebra and not like complain about like oh this isn't actually going to do something. Um, just like that there's lots of opportunities for extension for me then because um, I like to learn a lot of science and when you're in a class with like science and design you can swap subjects at the, any time so that you can always like have more work to do. Uh, well we start off with learning hubs every morning and um, on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays it's an hour and a half which is just like getting to know like my being and things like that and my communities. And then um, on the other days we just have 20 minutes I think. And then after that we might start with a module which is two subjects combined into a topic and otherwise we'd have a spin or a my time. So spin is special interest and my time is something you get to pick. Oh well, we actually get like a questionnaire at the start of each, t uh, at the start of a new term or at the start of a new semester, just asking what type of subjects we would like to see next term, and then the teachers work around that. But we also get to pick our own um, combination of subjects, and um, they really like let you choose because we still do the core areas. We just have to make sure we have all the curriculum coverage. Yeah, so these social social spaces exist between a pair of learning commons and they were originally designed for places for students to hang out in, to have their breaks, etc. Um, but they are active learning spaces as well. They're connected through a door to the learning commons is on either side. There's visibility through windows. So often you'll see groups of students working in here, groups of teachers meeting in here as well. Slightly less formal perhaps than the other learning spaces, but fully appropriate for learning. And it meets our philosophy of every square metre of this building should be available for learning. Sure. So they, 
these particular lockers have got uh, power points in them, so students can put their devices in to charge them and put their padlock on, um, so that they are charging and then when they're finished it's available for someone else to use. Cool. So one of the key principles in our school around um, design of learning is powerful partnerships. So we see learning as really authentic when kids see learning, lifelong learning in action. So we've developed a pollinator program. So we make available spaces for startup companies to, to work in here. Um, so in behind me we've got a company that's a computer coding company and on the other side we've got uh, Thoughtwide, which is New Zealand's only brain science startup company. Um, and they work in here for no charge um, as their base, but in return they're available to work with staff and with teachers to help them develop uh, learning. For instance, for Thoughtwide we've got kids developing experiments with them to measure the impact of eating sugar on brain activity. Uh, my name's Tanya and I work for Gather Workshops and I'm hanging out at Hosville Point while I plan some ways to get more programming into more high schools in a better way all across New Zealand. Thank through you. working in the same space so that they can talk to our students and give them you know, feedback, give them support and inspire them. I jumped on it because you know, who wouldn't want to work in a space where learning is being done in such a new and exciting way?